before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. So, Conor McGregor, before I get started, I would just like to say thank you everyone for uh, the engagement on the last video um, to the point where um, I should do voiceovers for the rest of my channel's career. Now, after I got done making that video and responding to the comments either on my YouTube channel or other social medias I felt good I felt that was all I had to say about Conor McGregor but then I just casually scrolled down my YouTube feed and I see other news outlets in particular one news outlet post something about Conor McGregor that happened in his hotel that he was staying in in the Ridge Carlton this particular news outlet MMA news outlet is called MMA focus now what this channel posted was that a Dagestanian man decided to come to Conor McGregor's hotel location because if you remember in the Russian interview Conor McGregor did dox himself and in some of his workouts um, at the press conference he did kind of uh, tease uh, the Dagestanian people or Khabib in general saying who who is the coward now you know and um, personally I wasn't thinking thinking anything um, of it before I saw this video from MMA focus and after I have seen uh, you know Conor McGregor just being Conor McGregor selling you know being arrogant uh, and all that good stuff now let's go back in time a bit when I first heard Conor McGregor was gonna have a press conference in Russia I said oh oh okay so I, I made a post about that on my community tab and on my Instagram so if you're not following my Instagram you should follow it because I do try to or that's where I really um, post things that I might not would or I would would normally post in my community tab but I would say for the majority of the things that I post on my Instagram I do try to put in my community tab but if you want to get the full story then subscribe to my Instagram now I'm looking at my community tab right now on my YouTube channel and I made a post saying about Conor McGregor going to Russia I said I hope he comes back in one piece now when I made that post I wasn't again thinking anything of it oh and another thing too I sadly again I sadly went on to YouTube and I saw that Ben Askren did not do so well in his bout against Damian Maya and uh, you know that is something um, because I was rooting 
for Ben Askren coming off of his loss against Joris Masvidal. Because if he would have won against Damian Maya, he would have been able to come back against George Masvidal in, you know, a second match, you know. Um, as far as the Ben Askren um, stock, I don't think it's looking really good uh, for him. And I think he might have to eventually retire his run in UFC because... I don't know, he's just not transferring well after his um, uh, win uh, before George Masvidal. Now, if anyone knows, because I, you know, I don't feel like looking this up, the opponent George Masvidal faced in the beginning before, or no, uh, who Ben Askren faced in the beginning before he faced George Masvidal, please tell me, I'm forgetful, but it's just sad to see that uh, Ben Askren lost, I was really rooting for him and I, I made posts for him, but let's get back to the Conor McGregor, okay, so we see a lot of karma going on, okay, we see the bottle being thrown at him by a Russian reporter. Um, now, after Conor McGregor has doxxed himself in his or, or one of his Russian um, interviews or press conferences, um, the Dagestanian people literally show up at his hotel, the Rich Carlton Hotel, um, on the bottom floor. It looks like the lobby area. And we got some Dagestanian guy. And no offense to the Dagestanian people or the Russian people in general I don't discriminate you know I don't that's not that's not me I don't do all that you know um yeah but we see this guy you know trying to make an example of Conor McGregor now um with this MMA focus and that's the thing about these news outlet channels is that sometimes they don't post where they got these videos from and um as another person who you know has a media company or for media companies in general that can be annoying you know but this is not like it's a a paragraph or a body of text this is like a video so it's the proof is literally uh literally right there but MMA focus, I'm like, wow, how did you uh, get these videos, you know? And he even got a, uh, a part where Khabib's dad did comment on Conor McGregor's uh, Russian uh, appearance, or Rush appearance in Russia. But in this MMA focus video, and again, shout out to MMA Focus. The Dagestanian person just, he was told to, um, um, he couldn't go up and see Conor McGregor. So he just sat downstairs with his friend and, you know, chilled and literally said he was going to wait until Conor McGregor would come down. Now, I did notice that Conor McGregor did bring his wife with him, I think, to Russia. Okay, so I kind of feel bad for his wife. Now, along with the two Dagestanian people I saw in MMA Focus's video, a whole crowd of, you know, Russian people um, that was part, maybe a part of uh, that entourage of, you know, trying to. Uh, teach Conor McGregor a lesson, trying to expose Conor McGregor as the potential coward he is, you know. Um, and I did talk about this in my comment section on my last video, is that I'm afraid um, Conor's just selling again. And I really hope that in his comeback fight, um, and we now know that his opponent is going to be uh, challenging, uh, formidable, which is good. So the opponent's not the problem. 
as I thought it would be last time because if he comes back against Frankie Edgar and wins then um, I really can't I still can't take him seriously but now I know that it, it might be Donald Cerrone or Justin Gaethje I was like okay that's good okay but now let's move on to the next thing okay is he gonna win or is he gonna lose if he wins that's good his stock goes up if he loses then uh, I can't take him or, or he needs to retire and uh, he needs to get off social media or he's gonna um, end up in another bout or another fight with someone because I gotta say words are powerful and he knows how to articulate his words given our perfect example like I said he did dox himself in a Russian uh, press conference um, he has have a history of um, talking crap to Khabib and his people and all that good stuff as uh, Khabib's dad did kind of state that uh, Conor McGregor has really offended Khabib's people the Russian or the or in general his people now the next thing I'm interested in because with this uh, MMA focus posting this video is I want to know the the outcome did Conor McGregor come downstairs did they fight or did the police or the hotel staff keep those people at a distance from Conor McGregor now let's analyze Conor McGregor's strategy something he has been doing his whole entire career Conor McGregor is known for having the mouthpiece the mouthpiece that you know literally lights um, flames under people now let's go back to the bus incident with Khabib when, when Conor McGregor threw that dolly at that bus for a moment for a moment of time Conor McGregor wasn't held back but after a while um, the stadium staff literally held Conor McGregor and his people back from the bus now and let's let's go back even further there was an incident where Conor McGregor um, approached Khabib in the hallway at a UFC uh, event and again the staff held them back now let's fast forward to the current my prediction is Conor McGregor did come downstairs but the hotel staff and the police held the Dagestanian people back and of course Conor McGregor had to sell more and I could very easily see myself um, or see him talking crap to the Dagestanian people while they are being held back now let's say those Dagestanian people or the police or the staff of the hotel randomly decided to um, you know let go of the Dagestanian people how would Conor McGregor act then would he be a coward or would he be a coward after he realizes he fucked up you know would he say it's just business you know because you notice past a certain point Conor McGregor kind of you know gives up and just say hey hey, hey wait, wait wait I was I was joking I was joking man you know similar to him tapping out in the Khabib fight you know and him telling Khabib oh it's just it's just business because Khabib was literally about to kill him you know so Conor McGregor had to ease things up and say hey man it's just business 
Don't take it too seriously. You know how it is. I'm on your side, guy. Yeah, you know. So it's that type of stuff. That those types of vibes I'm feeling with Conor McGregor, and I'm really hoping it's not true. So in his comeback fight, I do hope he wins, and I do hope all this press wasn't for nothing. Similar to Ben Askren, you know, I, I literally come on my page and I saw that he lost. So how does that make him look? He lost against George Masvidal, who he talked a lot of crap about, right? He's trying to mimic Conor McGregor, you know, as a newbie coming into the game. And he lost against Damian Maia. So how does that make him look? And the crazy thing is I was on Twitter and Dana White did kind of promote Ben Askren. Everyone was rooting for Ben Askren, even a presidential candidate who I don't think will win. Uh, I think his name is uh, Mr. Yang, I think. But, you know, no offense to Mr. Yang. I have, like I said, I don't discriminate. Um, it's just I don't think he's going to win because in the polls I keep saying Joe Biden you know so no offense to Mr. Yang anyway hopefully another news outlet channel posts the outcome of the aftermath of what's going on here as far as what happened at, what happened at the Rich Carlton Hotel you know, after the Dagestani people literally came to Conor McGregor's location because Conor McGregor doxed himself. Because as Conor McGregor said in his Russian interview, I like to take risk. So there you go, Conor McGregor. Your risks are catching up to you, as I said in the beginning um, about your or about the water bottle that was thrown at him, similar to the incident with Nate Diaz and someone in my comment section did correct me and say oh the water bottle was thrown in his in this general area well I tell you what the water bottle was in the air and it was going in Conor McGregor's general direction you know I don't know how you know uh how correct politically uh, uh, correct I can make that but uh, the point is uh, 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 someone was a reporter was angry and he took it out on Conor McGregor now Conor McGregor has to wake up to Russian people and Conor McGregor had the nerve to say oh in his Russian press conference shoot I might be looking at buying some property in Russia and when I heard that I was like Conor McGregor you're gonna put your family at risk like that I can see if he was single why not you know but Conor McGregor has a family why would why would he buy a property in Russia you see that's another perspective to think about in all of this you know his family for me, if I was Conor McGregor, I would stay in Ireland because those people like you, you know, or if, okay, let's say he buys the property in Russia, okay, I wouldn't see a problem with him going to the property frequently by himself. He did say that he was going to use the property and, and training for the Khabib fight and all that good stuff, but hey. You know, um, what he, what if he loses in his comeback fight? Is he still going to buy the property in Russia? You know, those are the questions and the perspectives I want you to now think about. With um, these articles or these stories coming out about. Uh, Dagestani people showing up to Conor McGregor's um, 
hotel, the Rich Carlton, the water bottle being thrown at him at one of his Russian press conferences, and Ben Askren losing. And where, um, what, what is his future? So, if you have any interesting perspectives to add to this, these stories, let me know in the comment section. And again, if you haven't already, follow my social medias. My Instagram, I'm telling you, that is where it's at. Uh, feel free to follow my Twitter, my Facebook. All the links are in the description. I do have links on my YouTube channel itself, you know, permanently, permanently like on my YouTube channel embedded. So again, thank you so much for all the engagement on my last video. And again, that did prompt me to start doing this more often. So again, if you want more of this, subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more.